Good morning, good morning, good morning. Grace and peace unto you all on today. Happy sat happy happy Sunday. Not happy Sabbath, but happy happy Sunday to you all on today. Grace and peace to you mighty warriors on today. Oh man, grace and peace unto you. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Peace be multiplied unto you today. Um, good morning. It is early. I know some of you all are still tossing and turning and I am up and I am like ready for the day. Um, I'm just excited. Um, I'm coming on here a little briefly, just all some things that God dropped in my spirit today. And I just was so excited to blog it, but I just letting it marinate in my spirit about just what he said. And I, you know, I, I just, I'm just in all of God in, in this season, um, in my life where he has me. I'm just in all of God and, you know, to where he has you all in this season, in this second, this time, this period, in this era, in this very moment. Oh my God. If it wasn't for God that was on our side, where would we be on today? Amen. Hallelujah. It's, it's a wonderful field Sunday on today. I give God the glory. I give him the honor and the praise. I give God the worship on today. I thank God on today for him, for he is just mighty. He is worthy. He's, he's, he's just worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but as I said before in one of my previous videos, I talked about just laying prostrate before the Lord. And this is something that God has had me on my face the last maybe two weeks, um, off and on periodically. And then the Lord did unction my spirit last night to pray and to get in a place of worship. And I did. And then he asked me to lay prostrate. So I rest in God. You know, I was kind of like Jesus when the storm out was weathering through that I took a chill pill at the end of the boat and I rest and I was asking God in this season to teach me how to rest uh rest in him rest means trust rest means believe you know believe that the things that he has for promise for my life and for promise for your life that it will manifest itself I just thank the Lord on today I just feel such a a prophetic honor utterance on today in the way that God is getting ready to shift some things concerning us hallelujah is the highest praise i'm not gonna be before you long and as I, as i'm telling you i'm always on the go constantly doing something but i bless the lord that in the midst of me constantly doing something that he's constantly giving me revelations of of who he is and as lord of lord and see people don't know god we, you know we have to oftentimes come from out of the four walls of the church be able to have a willing and able spirit to go out into the vineyard and that's in the world and meet people where they are just like jesus jesus met the woman with the issue of blood met the woman at the well he didn't meet her behind the four walls but he met her at the well and i want you to be encouraged you know jesus and sometimes we'll meet christ in a place where he shall be found and that we will draw near to him. It, and, and I'm going to be candid. Like for me to get who to. For me to become who I was in God. I'm just going to tell y'all. It wasn't. I didn't experience God in church. Like how I experience God in church now. God had to get me. This was my metaphor. Oh my God. Like 13, 14 years ago. I remember just being in college. My last year of college. In undergrad. And I was graduating. And I felt like I was evolving in circles and I couldn't understand what it was. And so I remember even making a statement telling a cousin or a friend of mine that I don't know what God is doing, but if God want me, he going to have to come and get me out here. Because see, being in the church, and I'm telling y'all, I didn't know what I was going to blog, but I'm going to give you what God said. But I believe that being in the church was not fitting for me, that I was not going to get it in the way that the people were getting it in the church and so i went back into the world i chose to go back into the world and you know and i lived i lived the worldly lifestyle and so in the way that god had to meet me he met me in the world he met me in my weakest point he met me in the world he met me in my brokenest point but he met me in the world and so i believe that god god is going to meet some of you all in, in, in places where you wouldn't even imagine
to him for, for him to show up and see God showed up in me he showed up for me while I was you know in a place where um, that I, I didn't want to be found I didn't I was blind and I couldn't see and I couldn't understand but see he came in and he met me in a place where I, I where it was most needed to usher me into the place where I am 15 uh th well almost 15 years later so I bless the Lord for how he met me how he introduced himself to me and just like the woman of God said no introduction necessary see he introduced himself to me in a way that I could be receptive to follow I just need you to get in a place and understand that God and I believe this with my whole heart God will meet us in places in different seasons of our lives and he will show up and show out but then in the midst of it God is going to help you get to the place where he is going to calipute you for his kingdom hallelujah hallelujah so I'm just encouraging someone on today that the Lord is going to meet you where he will calipute you for your next place he's going to meet you and i just want those that are out in the world out in the vineyard still wandering still lost god is going to find you god will raise up people he will lead people to where you are to pull you out of that low and and weary place he will use people to pull you out of that dry and weary place he will use people to pull you out of the lion's den just because he wants to introduce himself to you. Hallelujah. That's why I tell you today is a Sunday filled Sunday. Today is a Sunday filled Sunday. And I'm just so excited about the things of God. And the way that God is getting ready to travel for our lives. Um, in this season and I just wanted to come on here that was not quite what God had given me but I believe the Lord wanted me to say that um and the the what the nugget that God you know well the first nugget God going to meet you where you are just like he met the woman with the issue of blood just like he met the woman with, at the well I don't know why I'm keep saying this but he met the woman at the well y'all he will meet you at your well experience he will meet you at your well place God is going to meet you he's going to show up so I don't want you to faint not in well doing don't give up but give in you know keep fighting a good fight of faith God is going to show up He's going to perform miracles. It's going to be radical miracles, supernatural miracles, unseen miracles. But he's going to show up. And this is what God is saying. That we oftentimes, you know, we can minister prosperity words. But the thing is, people are not just looking for a prosperity miracle but they need a prosperity healing they need a prosperity deliverance they need a prosperity come pull up and come up not just so much god is going to bless you with this and that and uh, all those things but i'm giving you the accolades and the understanding and the clarity and the revelation on today that god is going to show up and when he do he's going to introduce himself not just with the the metaphor of i'm going to bless you in a way that you wouldn't even imagine in a way that you have never experience but God said he's getting ready to show up on on today he's going to enter he's going to reintroduce himself in a unique way and in, in or, an unorthodox way in order to get your attention just like he met Peter and Simon and they were fishermen after his own heart like they were at the dock fishing they were and this was what this was their natural job God was he showed up Jesus showed up like he sent he sent Jesus and they showed up and Jesus told him he said but if you follow after me I will make you fishermen after many and so God created them to be fishermen disciples after many they were able to go out two by two one by one however but God used them and so what I'm saying on today not don't lose faith because God is getting ready to show up and he's going to introduce himself I can't get enough of God, y'all. I cried last night. I weeped. And all I told God, you know, I just want my heart to be more like you. I just want to be more like you. More like you. More molded like you. But I came on here this morning. And I heard the voice of the Lord. I was I was walking. And I was 
I was just pacing through the house and and ministering to someone this morning across the gram and you know giving her you know giving her accolades on how to look at things from a different perspective giving her the understanding you know where people are you know and I too had to learn that um but I wanted to encourage you guys as I, soon as I got into my bedroom and I was getting myself together um, as I was, you know, moving around trying to get things together before I went, you know, got to work. And um, and I look a little rough, but forgive me, y'all. Um, I wanted, you know, I, I was praying, just talking to the Lord, but God was just ministering to my spirit. And I was like, God, you know, I just was thinking about my future and, and, and what all he promised me. And, you know, I was going back and forth and I was like, God, I just, you know, I need you to move for me. And um, I said, I just got to pray a little bit harder, you know, because sometimes pray without ceasing. That's what I kept kept hearing. And so as soon as I said, well, I need to pray a little harder. And God said, it's not just, it's not the praying. It's for you. It's the aspect of believing. It's just, the, I just want you to believe. B-E-L-I-E-V. Believe, not belief. I need you to believe. B-E-L-I-E-V. I need you to believe. And so I went to, uh, he reminded me of John 3 and 16. And I'm telling y'all, like in a nutshell, he gave me all of this just like, just like that. So I was like, okay, God. And he was like, uh, go, go read John 3, 16. So I strolled to my phone because I couldn't find my Bible. And I asked me where that, I don't know. I got to look for it. I think it's in the car somewhere. And John 3, 16, and it's simple to say, for God so loved the world who who gave his only begotten son that who shall believeth in me shall not perish but have eternal life I just like I say he will show he's going to show up in a way you wouldn't imagine he's going to reintroduce yourself I need you to be encouraged on this morning God is saying he encourage you guys it ain't so much about the praying. And I'm not encouraging you to stop praying. I'm not saying to stop praying. Continue to keep fighting the good fight of faith through prayer. Prayer it what pushes the mountains and the blocks out of the way. Okay? And pray call prayer causes God to move exceedingly and abundantly like never before. But the thing that comes behind the prayer is just the aspect of believing. Now I said believe, not belief, B-E-L-I-E-F, but I said belief, B-E-L-I-V-E, -E, and then now believe, and then believing is more of the capability to know or the unction, the unction, the unction to know that it will manifest. Now that's not Webster dictionary. That's just the the way the definition that God gave me. So God is saying believing. Believing. Now B-E-L-I-E. B-E-L-I-E-V-I-N-G. Believing. And so I said, my God. He said, it's just you you can pray. He said, I just now nah, I just need you to believe it. I just need you to believe it. So then God said, go back and tell her. I just need them to believe. And then with the believing, that means speak life over daily. And I kept hearing affirmations. When you stand in the mirror, just, you know, just build up that affirmation. Sometimes people are believing for confidence. Then you go, Psalms 139 and 19. And it says, I am fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully made in the image of God. You, That's confidence building. Affirmation. You know, I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. Philippians 4 and 13 or 14. Believing. When you're going through Psalms 121 and 1. I lift up my eyes up to the hills and will come to my help. That my help comes from the Lord. That you are acknowledging where your help comes from. That your help comes from the Lord. Protection. Psalms 91 and 1. He who dwells in the shadow of the secret place shall abide in the shadows of his wings understanding that our lord is our lord of lord psalms 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not be in one understanding that god will lead and guide your every step psalms 32 and 8 god will give you he will give you the instruction he will instruct you with thy eyes in the way of that that shall thou shalt go up peace Peace be still. Psalms 46 and 10. 
peace be still for I am for for I am God. So I need you to be encouraged to believe and just know that God is going to show up and introduce himself in a unique and miraculous way. May God bless you guys on today, my prayer warriors, my warrior ones. See, I've been asking God to kind of give me a little name for y'all. So my warrior ones, God is defining and redefining you. So I, I, I pray that this bless you once a day. Happy, for, happy, happy Sunday. I got to go into work so that's some kind of pushing this. Happy Sunday. May the peace of the Lord keep you. May God peace multiply. And may may whatever this word do, may it supply your, may supply that dry place that you're in this morning. May the grace of God keep you and know that God love you and I do too. Oh, by the way, subscribe to the page. I need you. I need y'all like seriously, yo. Like I need, I need y'all like, come on. I'm, now I'm coming like a little thug now. You know, I'm like a little Holy Ghost gangster. But I need y'all to, su to subscribe to this page. Encourage someone to come to this page. I'm always on here. I'm not a big social media in this season. Um, but I just want you to be encouraged on today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I love you all. Stay encouraged.